Hey guys, okay, so I took off all my jewelry for this video so that I could have everything in my collection to show you guys But today I'm gonna be doing my most requested video like ever I literally get so many comments on all of my social media saying that you guys want to see a jewelry collection So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm so excited I've been wanting to film this so bad because I feel like I've updated my jewelry collection so much over the last couple months I never feel completely ready until I have all my jewelry on it's just such an important piece of my my style so I want to show you guys all the jewelry that I have this is where I get ready in the morning so I have all my jewelry over here on this Alex 9 drawer and on my dresser and I just keep it all in these little trays and bowls and kind of display it a little bit so yeah I have a lot of jewelry pieces I have tons of rings necklaces bracelets so I'm gonna get into showing you guys all of the jewelry that I have and kind of trying on pieces as I go I really hope you guys enjoy let's get started I also wanted to say that I get my jewelry from pretty much every everywhere. I'm gonna try throughout the video to tell you guys where everything is from but I honestly look at random boutiques or like if I'm out of town I'll look at all of the random stores and find rings and jewelry so it's kind of just like my jewelry is from everywhere I guess is what I'm trying to say so so let's get started I'm gonna show you guys my jewelry collection so this is where I keep all of my jewelry as I said I'd say my favorite jewelry is definitely my rings I love wearing stuff on my hands I just feel like your hands are so customizable like you have so much room to put so many different looks Okay, so I'm gonna start with this pink tray, which is where I keep a majority of my rings So some of these are from Etsy. I have like this little crystal ring. This one says Leo This one's a really pretty Sun ring and it actually changes color. This is like a mood ring. It's cute I have rings from literally everywhere this one Which is one of my faves which has this moon and star it was from this boutique that I went to it is so cute And then I have like this cool eye one and these purple ones that I actually got at the Halloween store Literally like so random, but it's like my favorite ring. These all came in a set, which I think are really cool And these two, oh my god, these two rings are definitely like my favorite I got these at this random store in Temecula. They are so pretty. I'm obsessed This one's another pretty one. This is from Urban Outfitters. I thought this one was so cute Yeah, but there's honestly so many. I have some of these from Shein, Princess Polly, another random boutique back I have these two bowls this one is from a thrift store and this one I got at a store in Solvang <laughs> I know it's random guys I keep all of my beaded rings in here which are my favorite I just ordered a bunch more like these kind of rings are cute but they're gonna leave my fingers like so blue you know what I mean so the beaded ones are really nice because they don't leave your hands blue at all they are super cute and they're just beads so so in here I just have a bowl of all of my beaded rings. Most of these are from Depop. I have five of them from Depop and three of them from Princess Polly. I really love the Depop ones. These are so cute, especially the ones that aren't flowers, like just the plain beads are so cute. I really like these Princess Polly ones too though because the beads are a little bit bigger. They're all so cute though. I love all the different colors and I love the beaded rings specifically. I think they're so fun. So next in here, this is where I keep all of my clay rings, and I think they are so cute. They are all these cool, like, scrunch. Most of these I bought on Depop, and they are all so cute. This one with the little bead in it is so cute. And then some of these I actually made, which was fun. I really like making them, but I don't know how many I actually wear that I make. They're kind of random. I also have this cool strawberry one in here. It's like green and has a huge strawberry. It's really cool. And then I also have my favorite necklace in this bowl. So this necklace is so pretty. It has all these charms. I got this from Depop as well. It is definitely my favorite necklace I own. It is so pretty. I could look at it all day. So I keep it in this bowl just so it doesn't get tangled with any other necklaces and 
I don't know, it deserves a separate spot. <laughs> Look at this little dolphin that's at the end clasp. Like, that is so cute, oh my god. And the mushroom, and this is a piercing and a charm. This heart is my fave. I also have these plain gold rings in here. I kind of just set my rings everywhere. So usually when I'm wearing rings, I'll grab some from each container and just like mix match them kind of. I have some beaded rings, I have a clay ring, and then I have this middle one with some jewels on it. And I just think they all look kind of cool together and the colors look so interesting. Rings are so expensive. It's actually so hard to find like affordable, cute rings. So I feel like whenever I'm out like downtown or going to like a new city, I'm looking in the boutiques and in the stores to see if they have any rings. Cause it's so much better to buy rings and jewelry from small businesses, especially because you're probably not gonna find those jewelry pieces anywhere else. And they're usually not as expensive. Cause I feel like when I look through Instagram stores, the rings are like $40 a ring. Like I don't wanna pay $40 for one ring. You know what I mean? So that's what these three containers have and then next to it I have this little I made this little heart and I just put my everyday jewelry in here so my little gold hoops I always have these in I keep these right in here and then this necklace is just like a plain necklace so I just have that in there as well I keep it on this mirror tray which is super cute and I don't want it to get scratched up so I put these little crocheted squares that I did on the mirror and then I put this little tray on top so it doesn't scratch it up. Isn't that genius? So the one back here is really cute as well. I got this at a thrift store and it has all these butterflies and flowers. I think this tray is so cute. So this is again on a crocheted square. In here I keep all of like my beaded necklaces. I'm obsessed, these are so pretty. I've been getting these over the last couple months. Some of my favorites are this one. It has these flowers, tons of beads. I'm obsessed. This one is really nice. This one also is really cute. Has mushrooms, a ton of pearls, beads, really pretty. This one, which I just got, I'm obsessed with this one. Like, all of these are so cute. So I keep all of these in this little container. I'm obsessed with those though. So now we're getting back here, which is more of my older jewelry. And then over here I have necklaces and bracelets that I wear still. So I used to be super into silver jewelry. I kind of switched into gold the last year. So back here I have more of my silver jewelry stuff. I still wear a lot of this, but I'm more into gold now. So, so I have like some random chains and cute necklaces. These random clay rings I made, some bracelets I made like a while ago now. These all kind of remind me of summer. The shell necklaces and the colorful beads. Um, up here I have these cool earrings. In this little tray I have more gold chains. This is a crystal cage. I have two of these. I have these clips. This one came in one of my Depop orders. This is so cute. These earrings are so pretty. My friend gave these to me. Random gold hoops, plain earrings. These I wore last summer a lot. Like, all the jewelry back here is kind of random, but I do wear this stuff. And I love this jewelry holder too. I, I got it on Amazon last year. It is so cute. So yeah, I just have a bunch of random stuff here. And then this is where I keep my bracelets. I wear all of these all the time. I also have some silver hoops on the end. But some of my bracelets I wear every day are like these Pura Vida ones. These are really cute. I love the colored strings. This is my tiger's eye bracelet I wear every day. I'm obsessed, you guys. This is my favorite. And then I just have these random. These are actually anklets, but I wear them as bracelets too sometimes. And then here I have my necklaces. So these are all really cute ones as well. This one is like the Vivian Westwood necklace that I got on Depop for like $20. <laughs> I have these little cherry earrings from Urban Outfitters I got so long ago, but the cherries are hearts. It's so cute. These beaded ones are really pretty. I got these from Crystal Shops. This pink one is another really nice one. This one's from Brandy. It's really cute. It has these stars. I don't know, all these are really nice. So I have all of those back there. I also just bought this bracelet, which is so pretty. I'm obsessed with the colors, so I'm gonna add that to my jewelry collection and start wearing it every day, probably. So I think good advice for looking for jewelry is just to look everywhere. Like, if you go into random stores or boutiques or you go to, like, a new town and you look in the shops, like, there's probably such cool jewelry there that you won't be able to find, like, anywhere else. I always try to look for jewelry everywhere I go. So this is all my everyday jewelry. All this stuff is so cute. I never feel ready until my jewelry is on. So I'm constantly adding to my jewelry collection and putting more stuff because I always find new pieces that I love. Mm -hmm. 